Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we're out here in the shop again. And so what we're doing today is actually working on the truck. And I actually have two problems with the Duramax. One is the air conditioning is blowing out all the wrong vent ports. And two, the second one is the air conditioning isn't working at all. Uh, it's blowing, it's hot air is coming through it. It's blowing like full speed, all that's working just fine, but it's not cold. So today we're gonna go through the diagnosis of trying to see if the air compressor is still good, see if the clutch fan on the air conditioner, see if that's still good. And then we may end up swapping out one of the sensors. There's a very common problem on the GMT 800s, you know, so the 99 to 06, 07 uh, trucks, pickup trucks, SUVs, whatever. They have a real bad problem with the low pressure switch. So I've actually already gone to the store and picked up a switch because it was only like, I think it was like $18. All right, so if you're in the truck and you turn on the air, you change the modes. So we're trying to get air conditioning. So AC is set. There is nothing coming out of the vents. That's kind of the first problem. It is out. It is, however, coming out up here. So I'm not sure if the vent up there is related to the hot air coming out, but so that's the first problem. And kind of like I said, the second problem was the temperature and we have it set to 60 but guys there's unfortunately i don't have a thermometer but it's probably blowing 75 80. so the ac's hot it's coming out of the wrong vents and we got a lot of problems you guys can see we have the air conditioning on but the clutch is not spinning at all the clutch isn't engaging or disengaging so what we're going to do you guys can see it right here there is a ac pressure switch i believe it's the low pressure switch what we're going to do is we're going to take that out so we'll take this harness out right here part of the uh, evaporator system take that out and we're gonna see if we can actually put a test cable through there and see if we can get the AC to engage All right, so you guys just saw us jump that wire. We jumped it two or three times. The AC clutch kicked in. And since I've already done this, I can tell you the AC inside, even though it's coming out of the wrong vent hole, it is turning on and it is cold. So what we're gonna do is actually replace that switch. Like I said, it's like a $20 switch. It's this one right here. And uh, I believe all you need is a 16 millimeter wrench. Get that off and we can replace it. All right, guys, so I actually went back here and to grab a wrench and get the sensor off. And actually, the sensor was loose. Um, there is, I can tell there's Freon in the car. Uh, some just leaked out a little bit, but that's all right. Uh, so this is, oh, this isn't even the GM piece. But here's the new one. It's just the same sensor. Uh, you're going to want to keep the O-ring on there because there is, if you guys look back on the port, there is an O-ring on there. This is from a company called... Santec, the part number is MT0968, and uh, I picked this up locally. All right, so this shouldn't be that difficult. Just line up the sensor onto the shredded valve, the shredded port. And uh, the one thing you want to be careful of is cross setting this because this is plastic screwing onto metal. You uh, could possibly mess that up. So just go ahead. Get that on there, tighten it up, and we should be good to go. All right, so we got the wiring all plugged back in. Let's see if the AC works. All right, well, we got part of the problem solved with the air conditioner, the clutch, all that stuff's working. That switch was easy. Trying to get the rest of this fixed might be a pain because there's like five different actuators in here, and uh, I'm not sure which one is which. And so I'm kind of shooting in the dark on the rest of this fix. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually do the relearn system. So under the hood, you're gonna pull this fuse right here, this HVAC ECAS, it's uh, second one in. Well, there would be a fuse here, but there's not. So it's this one right here. We're gonna pull that and remove it for over a minute. Yeah, so fuse is out. We're gonna let this sit for like a minute or two, and then we'll put this back in. Uh, yeah, so we got that taken care of. The next step now is to turn the car on and leave it running for like two to three minutes. It should turn on and start auto programming. Yeah, 
yeah you guys can see it it's slowly going through its modes all right guys the car has been running for well over two minutes we can turn it off and now you want to turn it back on for like 10 seconds so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so we have completed the cycle and now we should be able to turn it back on and start all right so now we should be able to cycle through the modes and hopefully this works turn it down to 60 let's hit auto It's not coming through the doors, but it is coming out the top, the vent. Is it coming out the bottom? No. <laughs> you guys see the gear turning? So when we first start the car, it turns with no problem. But for some reason, it like defaults back to the, the the froster. I don't know why it's doing that. The gear's working, but for some reason, uh, like I said, it's positioning to that default position. So uh, I don't know if we need to order a new blend panel actuator. I think that's what that's called. I don't know if we need to order a new actuator or see if... Uh, there's more, you know, if this, this is a common issue or something. All right, guys, I have tried to reset the HVAC doors five or six different times. I've tried every method that I've seen online, disconnecting the battery, taking the fuse out, you know, turning the car on, putting it to the fan mode, turning it off, and just everything. Every time when I start the car back up, it defaults going from, you know, the floor to the middle, you know, to the vents blowing on you, and it gets stuck at the defrost mode. And that's pretty much what it does every time. So I think the motor is, I don't think the motor shot. I just think that the motor is not acting properly. So I've already gone ahead and ordered a new actuator. And the actuator that we ended up ordering was from AC Delco. This is part number 1572971. GM part number is 89018365. And if you guys use the AC Delco part number, it will be cheaper than the GM part number. So you guys might be wondering, well, why did you end up going with the AC Delco part? Well, honestly, guys, the factory piece lasted like 14 years. And that cheap aftermarket one from Amazon lasted not even two years. And yes, there is a price difference. I believe the cheap one was like 30 some dollars. And this one was just over 100. Yes, that is a big price difference, but... If I don't have to crawl under there and replace this every two years, that'd be great. So kind of jumped on the other end of the spectrum on the expensive part on this one, but that's all right. This is such a pain in the butt to get to that I don't want to have to do this again in another, another year, year and a half, whatever it is. So I'm actually not going to film the install. You guys, have, I've already shared the link up above to the previous video. Um, plus from what you guys saw in the gear moving, you can't see anything. So there's really no point of actually trying to film this. It's just not gonna go. So on that note, I'll give you two pieces of advice. One, I'm gonna try to keep the door, the, the big black piece with all the squiggly lies in it. I'm gonna try to keep that mechanism in the truck. And then the second piece is, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm actually gonna turn the truck on, turn the air conditioning on, and when as soon as it hits the middle part, you know, the vents blowing on you, I'm actually gonna turn the truck off because if it locks it right there, then we should be good just to slide the old unit out, slide this one in, and go from there. All right, guys, I've been out here for like two plus hours, and uh, as you can see, it's almost dark outside. But uh did want to tell you that that replacing that actuator door down there above the gas pedal, that's what our problem was. So if we change the mode, right now it's blowing out the vent. So if we change it to the bottom, I can feel it blowing out the bottom. We change it to defrost. We can feel it blow out the top up here. Yeah, it's definitely come out there. And then the most important is 
the vents, these vents, and it's blown out there without issue. There's no noise, everything's working just fine, and uh, I'm kind of shocked that's what it was. So yeah, if, uh, <laughs> if you guys have problems with your air conditioning, uh, replace the door actuator that you've already replaced. Well, at least in our case. I'll let you know, we'll do an update of how long this AC Delco one lasts. Um, like I said earlier in the video, there, there's simply no way to show you how to install it. It's pretty much you have to get under there and just do it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, I actually ended up leaving the round piece, the, you know, the piece that actually moves the doors. I actually left that in the car and I didn't bring that out and I didn't remove that. I lined everything up to where everything was about in the middle. I put the door actuator on, put the two screws in, and we got everything working. I actually fired the car up to make sure that some of the LEDs and everything was still working. And I accidentally had the HVAC on, so the HVAC actually worked just fine. Um, I didn't reset it or anything. It kind of, I think because I was close enough on in that middle setting, that's why it worked without issues. So on that note, this is actually be the end of this video. It's actually been two weeks because uh, I fixed this part last week then we had to wait you know what four or five days to get the part in and we just were able to install that today so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button if you guys want to see more truck videos hit that subscribe button turn on your bell notifications and if you guys want to help support the channel check out all the links down below i should have links to the ac delco uh hvac door actuator because i actually did buy that on amazon we got that prime well prime and uh we got the uh the low pressure switch locally, but I'll have a link to that on Amazon as well. So, and also make sure you guys check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. Thanks guys. Have a great one. Yeah.